rose colored glasses. Yeah. Rose -colored glasses. Everything, everything looks rose. rose, yeah. That tint that you saw in those glasses, that's what you saw when you looked. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm gonna cook some dinner. And it was a recipe one of you asked me to figure out a THM version, so I thought I'd give it a go. Yeah, hi Kathy. You have the same Red Bull, other Kathy. It's from Walmart. Tasty. Um, I so I love Rubens. They are hands down my favorite sandwich. Ugh. I love them. I Every time we go out to eat, if there's a Reuben on the menu, it's usually what I go for almost every time. Well, obviously, I can't have white bread. And I don't, I mean, you could use WWBB, but if you wanted, I, I just don't think it would be that good for me. If you wanted um, a crossover, you could use it with uh, uh, sprouted bread or sourdough. Um, but I don't want a crossover. I already had one today and I don't want another one. So I found this recipe for um, low carb tortillas that are supposed to be more like tortillas. Um, I love the Wonder Wraps. I think they're good, but I think I am feeling better, Meredith. Thank you. I feel a lot better than I did even 12 hours ago. Um, this recipe, the pictures looked straight up like regular tortillas. I don't know if they'll taste like it, but that's what they look like. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna make basically Reuben quesadillas. So we'll see. So let me get out my ingredients. I need an egg out of my freezer or fridge and almond flour. down there for an egg. There's no egg down there. All right, it says to put it in a food processor, but this is what I use. This is, I think, for a food processor. It's just little, but I think it'll do the trick. So one egg. And almond flour. So these are kind of a heavier because of the almond flour, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a heavier S tonight. All right, by me. So there's my almond flour. Peggy, no. <laughs> no, it's just a hoodie. It's right there, honey. It's just a hoodie, and I just like, I like to wear warm hoodies in the house. My house is not chilly. It's like 76 in here. But I, I, we just went out, and I don't wear a coat most of the time, and it was like 12 degrees, so this is what I wore, and I just haven't taken it off. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. cannot use that to dig in spaghetti. We need, like, use this. Food tweezers. Food tweezers? You mean tongs? Yeah. Do you guys have food tweezers in your house? <laughs> the tongs. Tong to tong, tong tongs. All right. Half a teaspoon. Oh, that was half a tablespoon. <laughs> Shoot! I'll do the laugh track for you. <laughs> Hashtag, shut up, Tony. All right, I just put way too much baking powder in there, you guys. Oh, man. <laughs> we should get a laugh track. Peanut gallery here. We should, we should get a laugh track. We really should. <laughs> that, was that was a creepy laugh there, man. All right, a pinch of salt. Where's the wrap? I just used it. I'll take care of it later. That's okay. Pinch of salt, a tablespoon of xanthan. So that's the recipe. 
my family, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. All right. Tablespoon of xanthan. That's what's going to give it its foldable texture, according to the instructions. I'll tag this video. <laughs> Get out of here. Somebody says, if your family doesn't eat what you do and you have to cook for them too, I would let the laugh guy do his own cooking. <laughs> All right, knock it off. Get away. I'm going to make you go to the other room. They think they're so funny. I got to plug it in. Oh. 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 Remember that, Daddy? Oh. Maren, stop! I'm <laughs> there. That was easy. This reminds me of that pasta dough I told you I was going to make. <laughs> Currently making the power skillet from THT. I've never had the power skillet. What's in that? Sounds vegetable-like. Vegetable. Gonna bet. It's got a lot of veggies in it. Vegetable-y. All right. Now it says to knead it by hand for a minute in some saran wrap. Why, I don't know, but you'll see. Okay. You're getting a whole bunch of hashtags. Shut up, Tony's. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm gonna send them packing. Oh no, you won't. Alright. So it says to knead this dough for about a minute. I just put it in a Ziploc bag. You could do it without that, but I don't want to get all sticky gross. Yeah. <laughs> he would not be too happy with that, would he care? What? Turning the camera. She says, turn the camera on him. <laughs> Cast the characters. <laughs> Put something weird in their dinner. Excuse me. It is like Play-Doh. It's very textury like Play-Doh. Very bouncy. That xanthan gum, when you put it in a dough like this, makes things almost bouncy ball like okay that didn't bounce but it gives it that kind of bouncy texture all right and it said to break it into i think it was quarters so i'm gonna yeah i'm just gonna i do feel better and thank you i am feeling a lot better back to my old self all right. By the way, Mom, the whole joke, don't take that personally. We're just playing with you. I know. You're just playing with me. All right. Why don't you do this? All right. Mom? How about you just this. let me film my tortilla? You should go like this at him. Like this. Oh, boy. All right. So it said to roll each one of these in a ball and then to roll it out thin between parchment. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We see. I just went, so I officially hit adulthood this week, you guys, because not only did I have my first colonoscopy. Oh, too much. Oh, they know all about it. Not only did I have that, but I just went to the eye doctor today and I get to give bifocals. <laughs> My, my awesome 
some shades have bifocals. That's not that, a big deal. No, they don't have bifocals. Yes, they do. You don't know what a bifocal is if you think your the sunglasses... Little eye, the little eyepieces. Those are not bifocals. Anyway. They're these. All right, go away. If I've got to get progressive bifocals. I'm still looking forward to it, but I ordered a new pair of glasses and I can't wait for you guys to see them. They are stupid cute. All right, I gotta find my All right. We'll wait if you wanna go rough him up a little. She knows that makes me frisky. Oh my God. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, I think it is. Jackie, I think that's what's happened. Yeah. It's all going downhill from here. Huh? From 40. All right, I'm trying to get this as big as I can. I, I'm gonna use two of these. I told you it was coming for you. It's coming for me, all right. I got the gray hair, the bifocals. Huh? Because she thought you were having some. All right, that looks pretty, pretty good right there. It's kind of, yeah, it's fine. It's kind of misshapen, but. You did, Michelle? Hashtag Tony gets me relaxed. you tried it, Michelle? What did you think? Did bless you like you guys, the taquitos? Bless you guys with my presents. And this is the thanks. Did you like the taquitos? What I found that's even better is if you fry them up and then put them in the fridge and then heat them up later after they get cold in the air fryer and they get crispy, crunchy, like crazy. Good. All right. There's one. Leave it. I will take care of it. I'm going to cook this tortilla up now. I'm really excited. Turn the TV down, please, a little bit. That's way too loud. All right. Let me see if I can bring you over to... Maybe I'm going to do it from here because I got too much stuff on my cabinet and I can't... I've got... My battery is plugged in right now. So I'm just going to leave you guys there while I cook over here. I'm really excited. Put a little bit of spray in the pan just for, just for, uh... oh shoot, I was supposed to let this dough rest for 15 minutes. I almost failed poorly. I have almost failed as a THMer. All right, okay, I take this back. Let me turn this back this way. I am going to roll a second one and then I'm going to put it in the fridge. Are you going to smoke it here? <laughs> oh my word. What did I do with the parchment? Over here. Oh my word. What time is it in Corbett, Oregon, Brooke? Must be 3.30 or so. I know, Peggy. I know. I'm not supposed to use spray in my pans, but I can't help it. It's a bad habit. I can't help it. All right, I'm gonna roll out a second one, then I'm gonna stick them in the fridge. And while they're in there, getting nice and cold and set up, I'm gonna make some ginger juice. Oh, thank you, Terry. We laugh not. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll a second one. Can I get a smoke in here? <laughs> Thinks he's funny. These roll nice. I hope they taste like tortillas because they they roll out real nice. According to the picture, they look like tortillas, but we'll see. Or I mean, yeah, according to the picture that I found, they look exactly like flour tortillas. But theirs weren't yellow and mine are, so... No, you're not supposed to, Bonnie. You're not supposed to have to spray those pans at all. However, I have found 
that the first time I used them, when, I, when they were being seasoned, the very first time, I had to spray them a couple of times. Now I'm not supposed to have to, but I still get nervous if I don't spray them. But you're not supposed to have to spray them at all. All right, there's my second one. All right, I'm gonna stick these in the fridge for, it's supposed to be 15 minutes, so I'm gonna stick them in the freezer for like eight. All right, and then these two dough balls, I'm gonna stick them right in here and I'm gonna keep them in the fridge and I think they're gonna be good for a little while. Luann, this is um, a recipe I found on Pinterest for tortillas um, that are more, a little bit thicker than like a Wonder Wrap that's got egg, almond flour, baking powder, salt, xanthan gum, and water. They're kind of reminiscent of the keto uh, S um, noodles that I can make. Is it all pans, Peggy, or these pans in particular? What's going on over here? My hair's all falling down. Is it just, are you saying like nonstick pans in general? Or is it the Ninja Foodie pans? <laughs> Bonnie, a Reuben doesn't have tortillas. I'm kind of making a Reuben quesadilla because I don't want to use bread on my Reuben because it's an S. I don't want to have a crossover. Um, so I could have sprouted bread if i wanted to use no cheese it's just not the same as i want the fatty cheesy i want the fatty pastrami that i have i want the fatty cheese swiss cheese i want the thousand island dressing so i'm gonna use tortillas instead because that's what i want to do all right i am gonna make some ginger juice while we wait because i need some ginger juice turn off have you guys ever made ginger juice? It's super duper duper easy. Bonnie, you could use WWBB. I have the cinnamon one in the fridge though. I don't know. So, she should wash these at least. I do not peel my ginger when I make ginger juice because I'm gonna strain it. But I suppose it would be appropriate to wash it at least. Um, but. You can peel it if the peel freaks you out, but I'm gonna strain it so I'm not worried about it. Yes, here's Brenda. Everybody say, hi, Brenda. All right, I stick my chunks in there. I'm just gonna use all of it. Well, maybe I won't, it's quite a bit. All right, I'll save out those other two pieces I got and I'm just gonna put it like, I don't either, Melissa, that's right. I like to live on the edge too. The edge of what? I don't know. But it's the edge nonetheless. All right, bunch of water. Get my blender cover and get Brenda going. going to strain it because I want to. Uh, Danielle, this is um, a blend tech. All right, I got a nut bag. Why they call them nut bags. I got a husband who's a nut bag and I've got these. I bought them to strain my ginger juice and to strain my um, almond milk because I'm going to make my own almond milk and I forgot to look it up again today. But uh, Bonnie, this is so easy. It does, this is for lazy folk right here. Don't peel it. This is, this is for lazy people. It's so easy. And it tastes, <coughs> oh, it's strong. It tastes so much better than powdered ginger. It's a million times better. <coughs> yeah, I know. I missed my cup a little. Maybe I should have. 
What's wrong? Oh, the nut bag? <laughs> oh, my word. What? And you came running? Yeah. Go away. You go away. You go away. All right. There we go. Look at that. I got all that ginger juice to, juice to stick. Shut up, nutbag. Hashtag, shut up, nutbag. <laughs> Anywho, look, all that ginger juice I got for my GGMS. That was not hard. That took 30 seconds, Bonnie. Yep, that'll work too, Melissa. I just like these nut bags. They're from, I got them from Amazon. I mean, was there ever any question? Isn't that where I get everything? Look at all my leftover ginger fibers. Looks like hair. You can use the pulp with more water and make it, I, I've got too much now. I stick it in the fridge and it'll stay in the fridge for a long time, but I got more than I need right now. But I like to, I'm not a big ginger lover, but I do, I, I think the fresh ginger tastes so much better than, than the powder kind. It doesn't settle to the bottom and it's just, it's not as spicy or something. I don't know, I really like it. I'll wash my nut bag later. Um, I pour this carry right into my GGMS. Woo, she's strong, strong baby. See if I got a cover that'll fit that. No, that, that isn't meant for that. I've got that part, but I bet I don't have the ring because I'm terrible with these things. Where is it? I've only got one mason jar this size, so you'd think I could hang on to the cover, but no. No, no, no. It's piled in the bottom of some drawer somewhere in this house. And it's nowhere in sight. Ugh. Well, I'll address that later. You need to get the plastic one-piece mason jar lids. What's that? Hey, Mom. I never heard of such a thing. You know something? I miss having a fish tank. You miss having a fish tank? That's a random st statement in the middle of your spaghetti. I'm just saying, I miss having well, I miss having a fish too, but we don't have any. Why? Because our, Anywho, is it because our water kills them? Because our water kills them. Yes. Anywho, this, I'll have to find something to stick on that. I know I've got a cover around here somewhere. I just, you know, as per my usual, I don't have an, a clue where it is right now. All right, I'm looking that up. Kind of like this one. This one goes on my pampered, I mean my Pioneer Woman one. It's got the hole in the top for the straw. That makes me mad. It's in this house somewhere, but who knows? Who could possibly know where that is? Should have found it before I made all that. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get plastic lids. Do they have the ones for the little, these size? Because these are what I use a lot of. I put a lot of my leftovers in these jars. I really like them. I like them a lot. All right, I'm not gonna let my wraps sit there much longer because I don't have the patience to wait on the dough. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. It's long enough in my mind. All right. Well, that's good to know, Donna. All right, I got enough battery that I think I can unplug my phone for a little bit and bring you right over here with me while I cook this tortilla. Oh my word, what's going on? I need a bigger house, my word. Oh, I need more space. All right. All right, I'm totally gonna get that. I'm gonna get those. I haven't tried chia pudding yet. I've heard a lot of people say it's good, but I have not tried it. All right, let's cook this baby. I'm gonna wipe out a little bit of that spray because I don't want quite so much. All right, 
This is exciting, isn't it? I hope it comes out good. Can you see my pan? I hope it comes out good. I hope they come out like real tortillas. I have a hard time believing they're gonna look like real flour tortillas because they're yellow from the almond flour. But according to that blogger, they will taste just like real tortillas. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably feel deceived once again. But they hold together nice. That's the xanthan gum. Cook that up, see what happens. So these are always going to be an S because. S? An S. What's an S? A satisfying meal. They're an S. It's a, type, it's a category of what we eat. Like hot, hot peanuts? So what does it mean? Does it mean it has more carbohydrates or more? It has more fat, less carbs. You'll know soon enough when you start taking the Trim Healthy You health class. I don't know when it is. Anyway, my kitchen is huge compared to yours, Jackie. It is, it's a decent size. I'm happy with what I've been given. I just, uh, I get kitchen envy sometimes. <laughs> Why don't you like to watch me stream video games? <laughs> I get a, no, men don't just get it. Don't get it at all, Meredith, that's funny. You tell your husband I said I'm way better in a video game. I mean, not really, but you can lie and tell him I said that anyway. I'm excited to try this. You know what I could do while that's cooking up? I've got my bag of sauerkraut, and i got to drain it out. My favorite spatula is in the dishwasher. <laughs> it's dirty. I was just about to turn on my dishwasher here in a few minutes, too. I could have washed it, but I don't, you know. Why wash dishes when something else can do it for you? I'll be hard-pressed to wash a dish. i got to be completely out of everything before I'll wash a stupid dish. All right. I found out tonight that there are multiple different kinds of sauerkraut. This kind is just shredded kraut, is all it says. Non-GMO, gluten-free, naturally fermented, traditionally tart and crisp. And the ingredients in this one are cabbage, water, salt, sodium, benzoate. So, perfectly on plan, right? Well, the one I had pointed to my daughter to grab me sauerkraut, and the one she grabbed was Bavarian sauerkraut, and the first ingredient was sugar, you guys. So make sure you look at your sauerkraut. Make sure you're getting the kind that's not laden with sugar. Kraut does not need sugar in it. Is this my water, I assume? I have been so dry today. My throat hurts so bad after that. I think they must have put a tube down even when they said they didn't have to unless they absolutely needed to. I'm wondering if they had to after I fell asleep because my throat, I got a big scratch and a big lump on the inside of my lip and my throat and ear are killing me. And I feel like I have a cold here even though I don't. Maybe your adenoids are swollen. Yeah, it's true Carrie, we do dirty a lot of dishes on this plan, don't we? That's okay, I ain't got nothing better to do. Wash some dishes. Oh my gosh, we do dirty a whole lot, a whole lot. This is browning up nice. It doesn't, uh, it's still yellow. So it didn't turn white and tortilla looking like the ones on the Pinterest did. Those people are liars. Listen, if you're a blogger, if there's any bloggers watching right now, if you're making a recipe, take a picture of your actual food after you make the recipe and put that on your blog. Don't put a real flour tortilla and tell everybody it's keto. Cause it ain't, you lying. 
drives me absolutely crazy. I'm sure it tastes delicious, but it drives me crazy when somebody posts a picture of chocolate chip cookies and they look like something right out of Mrs. Fields and then you go to make them and it's, it's not at all even remotely the same. Maybe they could have, Luann, I suppose that's possible. I shouldn't give them a hard time. I'm just making assumptions, but it does bug me a whole bunch. Like, truth in advertising, please. All right, I think this one is done. See, that's my tortilla. It still looks good. It's a little square because, because I made it square for some idiotic reason. All right. Let's see, I wonder what it tastes like. I gotta let it cool a little. It does look like a tortilla. I don't know that it's gonna be bendable. I feel like it's gonna break as soon as I bend it. Yes, it is. It is gonna crack as soon as I bend it. According to the direction, or according to the post, it says, will not crack. So it remains flexible. Well, she's cracking. But that's okay, as I'm gonna fill it and grill it. Um, it don't matter. I'm gonna cut it like a pizza because it's technically a Reuben quesadilla. So, all right, lame plug in the middle of this. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Joyful Life with KJ on YouTube, it's the same channel name. Please go hit the subscribe button. I will love you forever, I promise. I'll love you anyway. Even if you choose not to click it, I'll still love you, but. I'd love you more if you click it. <laughs> oh. I'm, I've got 1.03 thousand followers now I thought on YouTube. I hit a thousand this week, which just about blew my mind, just blew my mind that I hit a thousand followers on the inner tube. <laughs> How do you get on your inner tubes, Terry? Oh my gosh, if you just go to YouTube or the inner tubes and search, my mom's going to be so mad when she catches on to all this, um, and you just search out Joyful Life with KJ, you'll find me. Maybe Carrie, but I, I want to toast both sides if I filled it before I cooked it, the, uh, the inside would stay uncooked the inside of the tortilla. So I'm thinking, I'm just gonna toast it again, but this time I'm gonna add some coconut oil when I do it, just like you would a regular tortilla. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely gonna break when I bend it. I can tell. But that's okay, let's taste a little piece. Mmm. Oh, it tastes really good, it's a really good flavor. All right. That's got a really good flavor. All right, let's see, can you guys see my, what I'm doing from here? All right, let me get my Swiss cheese. Gotta have Swiss. Got to be Swiss. Aw, thanks, Anne. That's really sweet. Hey, joy is an important part of life. I have to be very mindful about joy in my day to day. I make it, it's a conscious decision when I get up in the morning that I am going to have joy even if I have a bad day. Cause, cause well, cause we're commanded to. But not only that, if I make a conscious effort to find joy in the things around me, I tell you, I am a lot better off in my day. I, Lori, it's funny you say that. I was reading somebody posted about pineapple flavored gummy worms, and I thought, that sounds amazeballs. I love pineapple anything, and that sounds really, really good. So then it got me thinking, I wonder if you could make chocolate gummy worms. <laughs> you could actually, it could be like something from this like s 
sweet boutique. You could make your gummy worms any flavor and then roll them in melted dark chocolate and have chocolate covered gummy worms. Ooh. That sounds good. All right, so now I've got pastrami. You could use turkey pastrami. You could use roast beef if you're or plain turkey, but it's not technically a Reuben unless you have pastrami. That's my rule. I don't know if that's the real rule, but I love 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 pastrami i think it is one of the greatest gifts to humankind right here all right there's my pastrami and i already got my cheese and my sauerkraut gotta have sauerkraut on top whoa baby that's dripping i had to drain that a little better oh, sauerkraut is oh i bought this and i bought some hot dogs so i can have Sauerkraut on my dogs. I love sauerkraut on my dogs. That sounds great, Lori. That sounds good. So chocolate covered cinnamon bears. Chocolate. That would sound good. That would. That sounds well, what intriguing. What, babe? What about, what about like Neapolitan? I don't know. So this has got a lot of cheese in it. I put one and a half slices on the bottom. This is going to sound silly, but I'm putting little tiny pieces around the edge so that it melts to my tortilla and my tortilla sticks when I flip it. Because if I don't do that, my tortilla is going to come off when I flip it. I'm going to make Thousand Island dressing to put on this because it's going to be awesome. All right, my coconut oil. Look, it's not melted like it was the last time you guys saw it. It's firm again. Where's my little, I'll just use this little spatula right here. I don't need a whole lot, just a little. I just wanna get it like fried on the outside. I think this is gonna be really tasty, you guys. Um, Jennifer, you should just look for hot dogs, um, any um, cured meat or any sandwich meat really that has two grams or less of sugar in the ingredients two carbs or less in the, um, on the nutrition facts. I got oil everywhere. And then it's on plan. Any hot dog that, has, and most of them do have two grams or less. As long as they have two grams or less, you get it, girl. You eat that hot dog. I don't even worry about it when I go out. Like when we go to um, Five Guys, I frequently get a hot dog in a bowl. And I, I don't care if their hot dog is a little bit more than that. Like, if their hot dog has three grams, I'm like, it's not the end of the world. It's okay. All right. Thousand Island dressing. You know what I didn't look up? It was a recipe for that. I better look that up right now while we're talking. I did not look that up before I got on here. Whoops. This iPad is so old. It's the world's slowest moving iPad. We were looking up French Bulldogs earlier. Look at them. Did you know they're worth $8,000 right now for a French Bulldog? What? I really want one, but I mean, I think they're cute. Well, they're, they can be that cute, but they're not worth $8,000. There is a Thousand Island in THM, Kayla. Which book? Oh, I've got it right here anyway. This is easy. This is a regular one. It's just a regular old Thousand Island dressing if I can get it to load. Oh my gosh, it's moving deadly slow. Marin, where's your phone? Can you bring it to me, please? Sure. This thing is older. Oh, oh, never mind, I got it. Okay. <laughs> just, so she, just because she just got up. It's got mayo, onion, which I'm gonna put um, dried ketchup, which I'm going to put tomato sauce, sweet pickle relish, lemon juice, paprika, and salt. I've got all that stuff. Woo! Baby! This is sauerkraut flying all over my kitchen. All right. I'm going to shut that heat right off and let it finish grilling while I make my dressing over here. Holy, that scared me. I'm wimpy. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. All right, sit down. Okay. 
Let me rinse out my little ninja thingy because I'm going to make my dress in there. <clears throat> Marin, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to run downstairs and get me a can of tomato sauce. Not tomato soup, tomato sauce. And there's like 65 cans, so I don't want to hear you say, I can't find it. Thank you for bringing your dish out and setting it right there where I can take care of it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just, just be quick. Snap it up. Snap it up. All right, I'm almost done, you guys. I know it's so exciting to watch me wash my ninja. I mean, this is the height of a fri Friday night right here. I just sliced my finger. That was fun. You know you have got an exciting life when you're sitting around watching someone else wash their dishes on a Friday night. I mean, does it get any better than that? Watching me wash my dishes? I just sliced my finger open. Look, she's bleeding. Ow! Ow, ow! I can't use dangerous tools. When making the dressing, how long will it last in the fridge? I would put a quarter teaspoon of citric acid in it, mix it up, because that is, oh, that would have been smart, Luann. Why didn't I think of that? I found it easily. Um, you go. Honey, tomato sauce. That's I, what I found. This is spaghetti sauce. I need a can <gasps> that just says tomato <gasps> sauce. No, there is no holding on. Look, Hurry your horses I'm up. I'm holding the, I'm pausing the TV. Well, yes, you wouldn't want to miss half a second of TV. I can't get through a single day without an injury. All right. All right. So, Thousand Island dressing has mayo. And I'm not going to measure any of this because that's just how I do things. Get a spoon. Get a gob of mayo. How much does it call for? A cup. Well, I'm obviously not going to do a cup of mayo. Oh, I should have looked it up before I get moving. I'm like bleeding all over the place. All right. I, I should have looked that one up, but that's all right. This is it's probably exact same thing. I'm going to bet it's almost exactly what I'm making. So dried minced onion. You can put real onions in yours if, I, if you want, but I don't want. It Thank you. Yep. Is it really the sauce? Did you get the right one? Oh, look at that. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. All right. More like spaghetti dinner. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea too, Kayla, would be the Greek yogurt. That's all right. I'm all right with this tonight. I'm just going to put a little bit of tomato sauce, and I'll have that whole can left over in the fridge, which means I will be making tomato soup this week. Which is good because I, I eat the better than, or uh, what's it called? The Campbell's, just like Campbell's, I call it better than Campbell's because it's so good. I eat it at least twice a week during the work week. That with the grilled cheese on a tortilla. I love it. All right, some minced, uh, I put dried onion in it, a little bit of tomato sauce. We need relish. This is sweet relish, but I'm not using sweet relish because sweet relish is made with sugar. So I'm using dill relish, making sure it has no sugar in it. It's Vlasic dill pickle relish. All right, a little bit of relish, a little bit of lemon juice. as a teaspoon. I, I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not putting a whole teaspoon in because I'm not making a whole batch of this. I don't need that much left over. And what did it just ask for? Paprika. It says to use sweet paprika, but half the recipes I use call for um, 
smoked paprika. But when I buy paprika at the store, all it ever says is paprika. So I don't know. That's what I'm, I'm gonna put some, uh, some, a little bit of super sweet in it. This is what I'm gonna put in it. Just a pinch. It's not gonna need a whole lot. Just a little, I don't think it's gonna need much. And then salt. Pinch of salt, little couple pinches. All right, whiz that up. Where's my cover? Oh my God, my kitchen is, Oh, I got a clean. Not plugged in. Yes, my kitchen is out of control. It's going to be Melissa. You did, Melissa? Good for you. I'm happy to hear that people are following in my steps and getting beaver butt vanilla. Tastes just like Thousand Island dressing. Well, I mean, because it is. So I guess it's a good thing that it tastes just like it. Because it technically is. All right, let's get a plate out. Slide that quesadilla. Whoop. Okay, here's my quesadilla. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to lift it in half, I know, and separate all that yummy cheese. Put my sauce in there. I'm gonna pour it right in the middle of my quesadilla. This is definitely a heavy ass with all that mayo and all that cheese. There's, I didn't use all the sauce, but that's okay. Heavy ass is all right there once in a while. Ain't nothing wrong with a heavy ass here and there. Never hurt nobody. If you eat, and if that's the only thing you're eating is a heavy ass, well then it might be a might be a problem. But it's not the only thing I'm eating, so I'm not worried about it. All right, there it is, my Reuben quesadilla. Looks mighty good, you guys. Who are you whispering to over there? Myself. Look at that. Mmm. Tastes just like a Reuben, you guys. Mmm. That is really good. That tortilla. That tortilla is very good. It's got a great flavor. Mmm. Oh, look. You know it's good when you get it all over your clothes. There you go. Reuben quesadilla. That one doesn't have a bottom piece because that's where my tortilla was broken. Anyway, ah, oh, all the filling's coming out. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? If you like Reuben's, you will like this. If you don't like Reuben's, don't try it. I don't care. If you've never had a Reuben, make it. You're probably gonna love it. So Rhonda, I made this tortilla. I just made it out of almond flour and baking powder and some salt and xanthan gum and water. I'm gonna post the recipe that I used when I'm done. And it, it made a great tortilla. It's got kind of a little crisp on the outside tender on the inside. It's really good. It's got a good flavor. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. All right, you guys, that's it. I'm going to go eat before it gets cold. Eat it while the cheese is melty. Go make a Reuben. Show me your Rubens. Can't wait to hear it. Yep, get some xanthan gum. Laura, you need xanthan gum. Because at some point, I don't know if it's going to be this weekend or not, but as soon as I can, I'm going to make um, the low-carb noodles that use the xanthan gum. And they're very, very good. My lips are swelling. What in this would make my lips swell? Onions. The onions? 
Do you think the dried onions could have been red onions? Uh-oh. Get your EpiPen. I use those dried onions all the time. I hope I don't need my EpiPen. I've used them all the time, but my lips are swelling. All of a sudden. Get your EpiPen. Quick. I don't think it's going to be that bad, Maren. It better not be. But my lips are swelling. I wonder if there's some red onions in those in those di in those dried onions. That's alright, I'm gonna eat it anyway. No. I got an EpiPen, whatever. No! Don't do it! <laughs> She's panicking over there. Alright, you guys, I love you all. Go make a Reuben, I can't wait to see it. And I will talk to you guys um, tomorrow morning. I am going to try, hopefully, to make zu zucchini. Maybe it was in the relish, Kayla. Could be. They're all itchy on the inside now. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not. Anyway, um, I'm going to try tomorrow morning to make zucchini bread whoopie pies. I found a recipe for it that looks super good and I want to try them for my dessert this week. Zucchini bread whoopie pies. Whoopie pies are awesome. Zucchini bread is awesome. My lip is swollen right up. I don't know if you guys know what whoopie pies are out there. I know on the, on the East Coast, you know what whoopie pies are because they are a staple. But I know out in the West Coast, a lot of people don't even know what whoopie pies are out there because I had a friend from uh, Minnesota and when she moved here, she had no idea what a whoopie pie was. She had never heard of it. So... They're awesome. We have them everywhere up here, and I miss my whoopie pies, so I'm going to make some tomorrow. All right, you guys. I love you all. Have a blessed Friday night. I look forward to seeing you in the morning. I look forward to hearing that you're all on plan all weekend because it's the weekend. You don't need to go off plan just because it's the weekend. No need. No need. I am going to go take a Benadryl, Jackie. I'll be okay. I'm getting a little hoarse. You hear me? <laughs> I'm not using my happy pen. Look at me, I'm getting hoarse. You're gonna get sick. <gasps> That's all right. I'm okay. Mild allergic reaction. I'm fine. It's gotta be the. It's gotta be the onions. It's the only thing in this that I'm allergic to. All right, you guys. Sorry about my voice. <laughs> oh my word. All right. I love you all. Have a great week. Don't panic. I'm going to be fine. She I promise you. Maren, stop. I'm going to be fine. Stop saying it. I'm all good, you guys. All right. I'm all good. I will be all good. I know I will be. I'm fine. It's only my lips, and now I'm hoarse. <laughs> but I'll be okay. All right. I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.